All right, so we got to talk about this. Uh, like I told you guys, I promised this already. I said that whenever uh, PJ drops a video going off on BSC TV or royalty, we will be dropping a reaction video as well. And if you guys remember, I even said this in a video or two ago. I said that um, when PJ said he apologized to royalty, I knew that that wasn't like, it, it wasn't genuine. It wasn't real. It seemed like he was just doing it, I guess, to get some content or some views or whatever, because he's back at it again in today's video. He's going off on a BSC TV and a royalty. He's back at it again with the same old, same old. Um, shout out to uh, BSC TV. If you guys haven't uh, checked out his uh, channel, definitely go check it out. He's always live every single evening. And he even has a second channel now which I think he also posted the uh, clip about CJ Sokol going off on these kids. If you guys haven't uh, checked it out, definitely go check out his second channel as well. But we're just going to get right into it, folks. We're going to react to this. We're going to play it, and we're going to react to it. Uh, it seems like PJ is reacting to, I guess, part of uh, BSC TV's uh, live from yesterday. So let's uh, get started with this. And, uh, oh, by the way, this is actually the uh, channel right here. This is Review That with Des. Um, this is the channel that actually PJ was recently promoting. Um, I guess he says these are real women or whatever. So that's another channel that, uh, PJ was just recently promoting. But anyways, let's, uh, let's listen to this. He is in the PRP gang and, the you know, all the planners, peanut uh, chasers, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Shout out to y'all, man. Everybody out there, man. Hey, y'all go follow Swaggy so y'all can help us get another skinny BBL up in this thing, man. Yeah, man, we keeping it lit, big dog. You see who we got on the screen. Uh, Life with royalty, man. Life with royalty. We're going we to get this. Oh, 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 before I forget. Shout out to the anti hyena squad and reviews with this, man. Y'all go check out both of their channels. This is where we went live, and she been going live every day. Anti hyena squad and reviews with this. They both been going live, and I want to tell y'all, first of all, first of all, these are two mature, uh, loving, family oriented black women who deserve a hand clap. Let's shout them out. Hey. This is where royalty need to get her news from. I don't know what the heck is going on on BSC TV and why royalty want to go over there with the sack chasers when she can come over here and get some uh, some uh, good, healthy conversation from women just like her. Women who uh, come out to struggle. I don't know if they struggle or anything, but educated black women and, and, and on some grown woman type stuff and want to get together and spread the knowledge. I've even learned a lot of stuff from them over the past few uh, days and weeks of uh, watching them. And I'm just saying, man, shout out to them because they is really putting on. So y'all go subscribe, follow, and watch them. Uh, that's a... Damn, that's a long-ass intro. Um, now, by the way, some of, you might, some of you might pick up on this. I actually had to uh, change the speed of the video. So it's a, a little bit faster so he's talking a lot faster because you know he rambles on and on and on and on so let's get started anti-hyena squad and reviews with destiny i'll put their links in the description they are really good they're smart women they ain't with no bs and not bsc tv they not with that crap you know what i'm saying but anyway but shout out to him too because he's doing his thing but obviously he still got a lot of noise to talk you know he keeps saying uh he's upset that we got miss brady mama so cool over in the chat and shout out to miss brady uh michelle brady shout out to her we're gonna give her a shout out because she's to keeping it real with us too and she held it down in this live she held how did she keep it real how did she keep it real she admitted in the very first video that you dropped the very first video part one so if you guys haven't seen part one uh with pj and uh, cj soku's mother go check it out she says that she's never had a conversation with royalty so you being CJ so cool's mother and you being around royalty and you never had a one-on-one -on -one conversation so that's already one-sided from the get-go so how is that fair that's not even fair Break down but what we're gonna get into is we're gonna hear, hear some of the tough questions that we want to know from royalty and this is from two women black woman to black woman so y'all don't have to come get my bs with me y'all don't get bs with me but i'm gonna give y'all some real stuff but this is stuff that y'all really need to hear because y'all keep saying oh pj you bash black women no i actually Love black. Well, I love these two because they actually giving me some good content and good information. Stuff that I couldn't even think about because I'm not. No, you've been bashing royalty nonstop. Um, 
I mean, just look at your channel, man. You drop like almost back to back to back to back videos nonstop on royalty bashing royalty, and even the video that he dropped uh, recently, um, the one about the kids. You know, we dropped a reaction video to it as well. He wasn't even fair. Like CJ was going off on a bunch of kids, and you were like, "Oh well, I don't know." If that was uh, going too far or not going too far, no, that is that that is more than just going far. That is pretty harsh to go over to attack kids and do all that. Come on, man, that's like uncalled for for a multi-millionaire like CJ. So cool to go off on some kids over some gum, uncool. A woman, so I don't understand why royalty will go to a man and listen to another man's channel and be bigging him up when you got two women who not really putting you down. They're not putting you down, but they is kind of giving you the facts on what you could do in life. How is BSC TV putting her down? How do you? How did you even come up with that conclusion? Like, how do you know that BSC TV is putting people down? He's not even putting anyone down. He's actually pretty entertaining to watch, and there's always a wide range of guests and. He even in the same video that you were, we're talking about right now, this is what PJ is reacting to is basically BSC TV bringing other guests on his uh, live. So how is that putting people down? At the end of the day, you said this was all drama. It's all entertainment. It's all entertainment. So why is it now him putting people down? Just because you can't get the same amount of guests that he gets on live, you're upset? Come on, man. What is it? You know, or what you should do with your time, because it seems like you holding your time hostage, messing with CJ, you know what I'm saying? And trying to be on this other guy's channel who all they do is talk crap about CJ and stuff like that. I don't understand why you don't listen to more women like you and you go listen to men and other bitter women. Like all the bitter women that's on BSC TV's channel, they are all bitter. They are, they dusty and disgusted. They probably, they house smell like, uh. They are dusty and disgusting. Keep track of this, guys. You gotta open your ears and listen to PJ, because PJ says that BSC TV is bashing people. But what is what is PJ just doing? He's about to go off and bash people that he doesn't even know. He says these people are disgusting, and he's about to talk about their house. So pay attention to this part. Uh, uh Fabuloso, and they probably got dirty socks on their feet because they don't walk around with no house shoes. Like they probably live in a place that got uh the the, the towel that you stick on the floor they don't even have real tile like come on man these is project women people with cement walls and stuff like that come on we gotta stop the gap man stop it man come listen to these real ladies over here oh uh, he says stop the cap and you're like that's exactly what you just did sir you're just capping you're just putting like you're, you're calling these people disgusting they got towels on the floor whatever living conditions they got you don't even know that you're just watching his channel and you're upset because whatever they're talking about on BSC TV's lives is upsetting you because it's not it's not lining up to your goals or your objectives. So now they're disgusting. They're project women. So it's okay for PJ to bash women when he feels like it. All right. And it's okay for him to call Cap when he feels like it or when he thinks is right. But when other people are calling Cap and calling out things and exposing things, that's all considered bashing. Like, come on now, folks. This is what I mean. Guys, you got to pay attention. You got to open your eyes, open your ears. Um, this is why I think the, the most important thing right now is actually to listen. Listen carefully to what PJ is saying. Because I think a lot of people just listen to him. And uh, mostly for what he's talking about, but not when he's actually attacking people. Calling people disgusting and project women. Like, come on, man. Reviews with review with the uh, man. A re oh, I'm sorry. Review that with dance. That's what it is. He tripped up over it. What are you like promoting other channels now? Did did uh, what's her name? Review with Des like pay you to promote her channel because it looks like her channel is pretty small. Um. Uh, so is this like a sponsor video? Aren't, aren't you supposed to give us a heads up if this is like a sponsor video? Because that's what it seems like. You've been promoting her like two or three times already. Review that with Des. I said reviews with Des. I missed that. But anyway, reviews that review that with Des and anti hyena squad. Beautiful, educated, smart, married women with children. So they know the game. They ain't, this ain't their first rodeo. They done been in this relationship, that relationship, and they trying to keep it cracking. Okay. So if y'all want to understand. 
Hold on. What, what did he just say? I said reviews with this. I missed that. But anyway, reviews that review that with this and add to a high end spot. Beautiful, educated, smart, married. Beautiful, educated, and smart. So what does that mean? Does that mean that uh, royalty's ugly, dumb, and not educated, or you know, dumb, not educated, all the same? Like this woman's got over a million followers. You know how much money she can make with a million followers on um, actually more than a million. I think it, it might be like two million on uh, Instagram. Like, come on, man. Like, this is what I mean. You guys got to open your ears. Like, he's talking about people bashing other people, but that's exactly what he's doing. To promote another channel, he's bashing on other people indirectly. Women with children, so they know the game. They ain't, this ain't their first rodeo. They done been in this relationship, that relationship, and they trying to keep it cracking, okay? So if y'all want to understand why I'm putting them out there, y'all need to go listen to their good content, and I'm going to tell Royalty, hey, Royalty, I know you're watching. You need to get your behind off of that BSC TV and stop listening to that crap because you listen to a bunch of uh, women with no goals in life and a man. Okay? So you're not getting nothing out of that. So let's, I'm going to tell you what you're going to get when you listen. It, it's starting to sound like PJ is really hating on BSC TV. Like that man's entitled to his opinion. Everybody on his live is entitled to their opinions. And at the end of the day, it's pretty entertaining. Um, so I don't know why he's like trying to bash on them. Like, just because you don't agree with what they're saying or what they're talking about doesn't mean that they have to be uh, labeled the way you're labeling them. To review that with this, okay? This is what you're gonna get. And we go, uh, and again, shout out to BSC TV because he was in on the live, okay? And and let's just say he. I'm glad I was just in the comments. I'm glad I actually I wasn't even in the comments at this point. I was asleep. But I'm just glad I wasn't there because he's still talking noise. That's why I had to drop a diss track on it. I got another one coming, but so just chill out, boy, because I'm, I'm I'm about to get on you, you and your uh your royalty mites. How y'all doing tonight? We're okay, good. Like, actually, we are doing fine. Uh, <laughs> hey, that's lit. That's lit. That's lit. Now, what's good though? I want to know because I know y'all go hard for royalty and y'all feel like that we are bashing her as a woman mm -hmm. because we're holding her accountable for a lot a lot of the unnecessary things. You hear that? We are not bashing her. We're just holding her accountable. These are other women, black women, that are is holding another black woman accountable. That she's doing? Mm -hmm. Aside of the fact of what CJ did to her, that's why she left him, right? That's mm -hmm. why they're no longer together, because it, it's not working. Thanks. But what about the kids? And I don't understand why they have to suffer because of relationship stuff between adults. Hold on, hold on. Why do they have to suffer? They're not suffering. Like, what did they, what did they, they keep using these words and like, they sort of like running around them. Like, how are the kids suffering? Their kids are fine. They look fine. Uh, Royalty is taking care of the kids. There's a lot of single mothers taking care of kids. Like, like, I feel like these people got like a secret agenda. What do you mean by suffering? Like, that's like a big word to use to say kids are suffering. Those kids look like they're suffering to you guys. Let me know in the comment section. Do they look like they're suffering? And um, the other thing is they would be really suffering if they go back to that house where uh, Raven Queen and all these other suspects, especially since some of them actually have been released now. Uh, they're released on house arrest. And most people that are released, you know, it's not like most of them actually follow the laws or guidelines. So you never know what's going to happen, what's going to pop. Some of these are actually in gangs. So it's like when we use that word suffering, we got to be careful what we what we're actually saying. Okay, see, this is why she should not be over there on BSC TV because that's all they're doing is BSing, okay? When you come over here, this is what you get. You get a, somebody with a, a logical brain about what it is with womanhood, what it is with children, how it is dealing with relationships and stuff. You get people asking really logical questions. We're not making stuff up or we're not. They are not making stuff up. They're not trying to put her down. They just really want to know the facts. I don't think she's getting that over there where she be at commenting, being a pancake queen and stuff like that, which is more than void because she don't she's a pancake queen guys this is what i mean pay attention listen closely to everything pj because he's the one that calls out people for bashing and exposing and uh you know saying all kinds of shit like that when he's the one actually bashing people disgusting women 
hood women, hood rats, pancake women. Or how to make Kool-Aid. I mean, this happens every day in America. I mean, and that don't make it an excuse. That don't make it right. That don't make it right at all. That's yeah, why I, we keep speaking on it so we can make changes for it. I'm hoping like the grand spirit. Because look, take me and change. They like the prime, I say her name all the time because she's a prime example. That boy be shading her all the time, trying to say, y'all don't believe what type of person she is, and she never shows any different. She let that man see his kid, and he falling on his face. He looking stupid in the street. Okay, you see that? You understand that she's talking about Nick and King and how the man is keep on bringing them up, talking noise, and Nick is sitting back like, man. Quarter mile, speed camera ahead why are we comparing, um, hour, speed limit. why are we comparing another couple to CJ and Royalty? Like, what Royalty's doing and CJ's doing, that's their business. Back and forth like that, because it's it's really, it's really above me. You know what I'm saying? It's above me now. Remember that meme? It's above me now. So when it goes above me, she just lets it go and lets somebody else handle it. That means lawyers. That means God. That means CPS or whatever the case may be. Let somebody else handle it because now you see that if he continue bringing your name up, talking noise about you, all you got to do is be like, man, the proof is in the pudding. I ain't got to keep showing y'all. <laughs> so let me get this straight let me get this straight um so bsc tv was just saying that this happens in america right and then like they just like sort of stepped all over that and then wanted to use another example with another couple that i guess on youtube so this is what i mean like we got to replay that part again because i'm like this can't be serious. I don't think she getting that over there where she be at commenting, being a pancake queen and stuff like that, which is null and void because she don't know how to make Kool-Aid. I mean, this happens every day in America. I mean, that don't make it an excuse. That don't See, what do you just say? This happens every day in America. And she said this does not make it an excuse. But she's going to go ahead and use the excuse and comparing royalty to another couple. So just because like another couple has a perfect uh, arrangement doesn't mean that every other couple is going to have a perfect arrangement. Doesn't mean because one YouTube couple has a perfect uh, relationship or a separation of an agreement doesn't mean that every other YouTuber is going to have the same thing. So how come when he's saying, oh, this happens every day in America, like she just kind of stepped all over it and then she's going to pull another example and uh, comparing them to another couple It's like, come on now, folks make it right that don't make it right at all that's yeah, why we keep speaking on it so we can make changes for it i'm hoping like if royalty hear it because look take me and kings they like the prime i say her name all the time because she's a prime example that boy be shading her all the time trying to say y'all don't believe what type of person she is and she never shows any different she let that man see his kid and he's falling on his face he looking stupid in these streets okay you see that you understand that she's talking about nick and king and how the man is keep on bringing them up, talking noise, and Nick is sitting back like, man, I don't even have to go back and forth like that because it's it's really it's really above me. You know what I'm saying? It's above me now. Remember that meme? It's above me now. So when it goes above me, she just lets it go and lets somebody else handle it. That means lawyers. That means God. That means CPS or whatever the case may be. Let somebody else handle it because now you see that if he continue bringing your name up, talking noise about you, all you got to do is be like, man, Proof is in the pudding. I ain't got to keep showing y'all. You know what I'm saying? He looks like the bitter baby daddy. But she's not trying to press, play, or play games with the kids. She let that baby go see his daddy. So he's a baby CJ. Who? Uh, All right, you see, you see how he throws CJ under the bus out of dude trying to, like, come on, man. Like, let's have, we, we supposed to have an adult conversation? We can't have an adult conversation when you guys are rejecting everything um, BSC TV is talking about. You just stepped all over his example when he said it happens every day in America. And then you want to pull up this Neek and whatever couple. So it's okay for you guys to pull all kinds of card excuses. But it's like we can't really have this serious conversation because you guys just, you're all one sided and you're, you refuse to open your eyes and see what's really going on. But they don't do that over there at BSC TV because it's just a bunch of BS. And that's what you're getting out of this conversation. Like I said, 
I'm glad I wasn't in it because I would have went right back at him. But I'm glad I just stepped. I'm glad I stepped out of this one. A king. He's a baby CJ. Pretty much. He throws the shots and talks shit and you know got but, his girl. But look how she handles it with grace. Like, but hold up, hold up, but Kat, hold up. Look how Nick handles King with grace. Not like royalty throwing shots, inviting her baby daddy to see the kids before CJ and all this other crap. Come on, man. You can't say that royalty does not do the same thing. They do it back and forth. I mean, it's a back and forth thing, yeah. but like, he definitely... If they do it back and forth... And uh, I don't know a whole lot about the other couple, um, but we can't compare this other couple just because um, who, whomever allows the uh, father to see the kids because... CJ is a whole different example, whole different incident. This man got his house invaded by a group of expert burglars. Um, and now some of them are being released or in the works of being released. Some of them are actually associated with gangs. So it's not like, it's not, you can't compare this. This isn't apples to apples. You know, his house is still a target. His house is pretty much already out there. Social media knows where his house is. The news has pretty much publicized his address. So, you know, isn't that what gangs do? They retaliate when uh, some other folks get uh, taken into uh, custody. I mean, I don't know if that's true or not, but uh, based on what I heard, they do have some kind of retaliation. So we're talking also about safety concerns. So I don't know about that other couple they keep uh, comparing it to because that's like a whole... They might have been just separated or whatever like i said i don't know i don't really follow that other couple that they keep wanting to compare it to neek and whatever that's what we saying she should not be going back and forth is she royal if she got royalty in her veins she should be icing this thing and putting it on ice and be like nah i ain't gonna play it like that nah i'm gonna just let him do all the antics let him see his kids his kids gonna see him for what he is the viewers are gonna see him for what he is when he stops showing up for his kids when he's not doing this or when he started harassing me and down at me and i ain't throwing shots back that's what we we see from neek that we don't see from royalty that's not true because let me tell you what did, what did just what what just happened they showed you guys what CJ did with a with, with kids, like step kids or whatever, for throwing a piece of gum on the floor, and they saw his reaction, and nothing really happened. Like he he PJ's like, oh well, let him when he sees the kids and he does anything wrong, any wrongdoing or whatever, then it's gonna be noticeable by the viewers, the subscribers. But then in that we just had an example like this where people found clips and video, and you even talked about it where CJ went off on kids, step kids or whatever, for a piece of gum. So what are you, like, trying to wait until it happens to his actual kids? Like, come on, man. I think y'all are just pulling all kinds of excuses at this point. Go the hardest. You get what I'm saying? Like, he How? goes the hardest to, to get on the internet, right, and to be like, hey, my baby mama cokehead. That shit's strange. To get on the internet with other people who are dissing your baby daddy every night. Is that not strange? That's not strange. You get what I'm saying? That, that shit weird as hell. Or, hey, my baby mama, hey, guess what? She hates white people and kids. That shit is weird. That's relationship stuff, though. I was about to say, but that's, 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 that's a relationship. That's not the kids. With me and Des, she said it's cool when you, she flicking them off on the camera. She. Now, you got PJ right here trying to compare what royalty does on a smaller channel. So BSC TV has like, what, 15,000 subscribers, something like that. Shout out to him. And CJ Soku has millions of subscribers, millions of viewers, millions of followers. We're talking about almost 9 million subscribers on YouTube and like 6 or 7 million, something like that on Instagram and probably several more on TikTok. So you want to compare what CJ Soku says on his platform in comparison to what Royalty does on BSC TVs. So when uh, CJ So Cool calls her a crackhead or on coke or something like that, or that she hates white people, that has way more reach. That That's like farther than what BSC TV can even put out there. Like BSC TV would have to upload hundreds and hundreds of videos to even reach the same amount of influence or viewers to see whatever he's talking about. Like, come on, man. Like, this is what I mean. Like, are we really like comparing BSC TV to uh, CJ So Cool at this point? Because Royalty never comes out on her platform. And uh, at least I don't remember her calling him a cokehead or smoking whatever he smokes or whatever. 
doing all that back to him, right? And mm -hmm. she even explained, I ain't never said nothing to you. You down to me as a mama and what I do and all this other stuff. But she still let that man see her child. Yeah, I understand that, but like... No, you don't understand that. You don't understand that. Why? Because you're a man. Now, let royalty come over here and talk to these women and let her give her explanation because she's looking bad. These women are giving the truth, the honest to God truth of what these what she should be hearing, not what she's hearing over there on your channel. Hey, I'm going to be honest, man. I'm glad I stayed out of this. And I said, I'm going to let them shine. They, they got their own thing. They are shining. They do not. He said that he's going to stay out of this. Come on, PJ. Cut it out, man. Are you joking for real? You dropped literally, it's got to be at least like 20 videos, give or take, something like that. 20 videos, and now you're saying, oh, you stayed out of it. You couldn't have stayed out of it because like two videos ago, you apologized to royalty. Now you're back at her again. Go check out his uh, other video. He says, apologize to royalty. He said that like three, four times already. He me to come over there and uh, show them up or try to show them. I'm not showing them up, but just like bring fans over there. They have them. They have, they bring, they, they not clowning like I do. They're not talking mess. I wasn't talking all the mess. I do give y'all real life stuff, but y'all like, Y'all don't listen. Y'all only listen when I'm talking noise. You know what I'm saying? Y'all only think, y'all don't never say nothing when I apologize to royalty and I said, you know what? I'm not going to do this. I'm going to take the high road. And I said, y'all was going too low. None of y'all got in my comments. It was like, man. All right. So he here, here he admits that he apologized. Um, but you just bashed her for the last, like, what, like 15 minutes now? Bashed her, calling her pancakes, calling her disgusting talk about all her current relationships like come on man it's it's crazy and that's what i'm talking about you doing some good stuff but as soon as i came out call her the planet's peanut man y'all having my comments mad again see that's what y'all fake the the, the 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 royalty the royalty mics that be sitting online and the computer keyboard warriors y'all come in my uh jim low uh phoenix sons y'all stupid butts y'all blocked uh the kimberly girl you blocked all y'all stupid People that come and watch my channel every day didn't say nothing when I was when I had a whole good video. Y'all didn't say. Uh All right, so yeah, we're gonna have to wrap it up here because it seems like now he's going off on the viewers and the subscribers. You guys got to hear what he just said. He said he blocked several people. So just know, on PJ's uh, channel, he's not accepting any kind of criticism. So you can't have an adult conversation. Isn't he the one that just? Um, like a few minutes ago said we want to have an adult conversation. How can you have an adult conversation when you want things to go in your direction only? You can't accept criticism. And when people criticize or leave their opinions, you block them. This is why his comment section is all one direction. And he just admitted to you guys. He just let's let's play this one more time. He just admitted to this. As I came out, call her the planet's peanut man. Y'all came in my comments mad again. See, that's what y'all fake. The, 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 the royalty, the royalty mics that be sitting online and the computer keyboard warriors. Y'all come in my uh Jim Low, uh Phoenix Suns, y'all stupid butts, y'all blocked. Uh the Kimberly girl, you blocked. All y'all stupid. So you got to hear it out of the horse's mouth. So he's blocking people now. So just know if you go on uh, PJ's channel, he's going to block your comments if you're anti-CJ, I guess. Not that we're really anti-CJ because everyone's entitled to their opinion at the end of the day. That's why there's a comment section. So this is why I share with you guys all the comments. So some of you guys might recognize your comments here. Not everyone that leaves comments on my videos agrees. Not everyone likes the videos. You know, some people dislike the video. But I don't sit here and be like, okay, I'm going to start blocking all these people. That's exactly what PJ just said. But he wants to have an adult conversation. So you let me know what you guys think about that in the comments section. Thank you guys so much for watching.